Hello, and welcome to TechBoost TV. Today, I'm going to show you how to install processors into an HP Z8 G4 workstation. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and making sure the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you will need a Torx head screwdriver. The Z8 G4 workstation can support one or two Intel Xeon scalable processor family CPUs with up to 28 cores per processor. Compatible processors are listed on the screen. Please check the link in the description below for a more comprehensive list of compatible CPUs. To begin, ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the power button until the light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. To open the system, lift the latch found on the side and set it aside. Next, remove the shroud to gain access to the CPU sockets. Now apply a small pea-sized amount of thermal paste on the processor. It will spread out once you place the heatsink on top. To install the new processor, take notice of the directional markings on the CPU and make sure it matches with the corresponding mark on the bottom of the heatsink. Gently place the processor inside the bracket until it snaps into place. Line the holes on the motherboard up with the screws on the heatsink to secure the heatsink to the motherboard. Be sure to fasten the screws in the order displayed on the heatsink and don't forget to plug the fan in. If you're planning on installing a second CPU, you will need a heatsink designed specifically for this socket. To install a second processor, simply repeat the same steps you used for the first one. Lastly, you will need to replace the air shroud and reattach the outer panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, RAM, hard drive, and video card installations, as well as general product overviews for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy requesting more content.